I'm having a lumbar puncture to extract some cerebrospinal fluid. I'm reasonably relaxed. I've had quite a bit uh, explained to me um, about what it's like, and so I'm most apprehensive about what I might feel in spite of the local anaesthetic as they put the main needle in. I've heard that um, there can be a certain amount of discomfort after the event, maybe a little bit of uh, backache for a few days, but nothing more than that. Lumbar puncture is a procedure which uh, you're able to obtain a fluid sample uh, from the lower back by passing a needle into the lower back. You can either do it with a patient sitting up or on their left hand side. It usually takes about half an hour. Essentially you make sure the area is sterile, um, you find exactly where you're going to be passing the needle, um, clean the area, put a bit of local anaesthetic in and then use a special type of needle to uh, pass through the skin, through the underlying layers and then through into the area where the, the fluid lives. So it's a, a specific needle designed for this purpose. There are a few parts to the needle, an introducer, and then they have a needle essentially within a tube and um, that allows you to pass, pass it through, um, through the skin and into the area where you need to get to, causing a minimal amount of, of damage as possible. You can take a sample from, through that needle and then once you've finished, you take the needle out, um, put a plaster on the end of it, and, uh, and that's it, really. You feel all right? I feel very delicate. Do you? I don't know why. What we normally ask the patient to do afterwards is um, lie down, um, for usually about half an hour, sometimes a little bit longer. Other than that, um, just to be really um, sort of careful about making sure that the wound site stays clean, we put a plaster over the top of it anyway, and then to, to get in contact with us or, or seek medical advice if they have any ongoing um, issues or anything that they're concerned about afterwards. Two main types of pain is um, headaches uh, and also some back pain. A reasonably significant number of people complain of either of those two things or both of those things but usually it's temporary and settles. You're taking fluid out of a closed compartment, you alter the pressures within that compartment um, and as the body adjusts to that the, the headache should resolve. Uh, and the back pain is usually due to the fact that you're, you're putting a, a sharp object um, through a skin in, in the lower back, albeit with some local anaesthetic going in first, but um, uh, that's usually the, the source of the, of the lower back pain. But as I said, the majority of the time, they resolve fairly, fairly soon afterwards. I didn't really feel very much at all, actually. Um, I mean, one might think that you feel, in spite of a local anaesthetic, you might feel the needle going in, bit by bit, and bit by bit, and also, but there wasn't anything. So how are you feeling, Mr. Keats? Yeah, very good, thanks. Excellent. Yes, it seemed to go very, very well. Excellent. Well, it went really well from my perspective. You did really well as well. Although it seems daunting having a needle put into your back, it's something that's commonly done throughout the NHS um, and, and is usually very well tolerated.